Hey everybody, I've had some people ask about making signs to hang in windows or to put, you know, outside thanking everyone that's helping with the coronavirus effort. So that's what we're going to do today. So you can see I have a couple of different materials. I have this big square of cardboard just left over from the side of a box. I have a bunch of crayons, scissors, a glue stick, and I have a ton of scrap paper. I always save my scrap paper because you never know when you're gonna need it again. So the easiest way to do this without using paint, without worrying about dry time, is I'm literally going to just write my message and then I'm gonna use all these fun scraps of paper to glue little pieces on so that you can see my message. This is a lot more efficient for people that don't have paint and you don't want to spend the entire time coloring it in and again this is a really fun way to make it fun and colorful and bright recycle these old materials and to just like i said use what you have on hand so first thing i'm going to do is just take a crayon a darker color so it will show up on this cardboard and i want to write my message i'm just going to choose the word thank you Now going into my scrap box, I can start to choose some of these scraps and I'm going to just cut them up and make little tiles that I can glue on. And I want mine to be irregular cuts. I don't want all the same shape because I think it's more fun this way. So I'm just going to start chopping up some of this paper so that I have fun little bits. I have a little pile here, so now I'm just going to start to glue. Use quite a bit of glue because you really want to make sure all these pieces stay on and most glue sticks dry clear so you won't have to worry too much about seeing that when it's when it's not covered. And they can overlap. You don't have to worry about them having little gaps in between. You can go ahead and overlap your pieces. I have my tea done and I'm gonna just keep going on with other colors. You can see that when I drew my message out, I didn't do block letters. I'm just using this as a guide and I'm letting all of these fun shapes that I'm cutting with my papers dictate how big the letter actually is. Again, this is just a guide. You know, and if you wanted to, you know, bring a little bit more of an educational component into this, what we're doing right now is a combination of mixed media and collaging. Mixed media is when we bring different materials together, so scrap paper and cardboard, and we use these materials to create a new image. So collage typically is an image made of multiple components that has a meaningful message. So in our case, you know, it is Earth Day coming up. We are recycling, but we're also showing our community members support. Okay, so you can see that I'm coming to the end of my message with my letters. But I have a lot of open space here. So I could use more of this paper technique, this layering, these bits of scraps to add some designs. I could use crayons, I could use markers. If you're going to leave this outside or you know that you want to go cheer for people on a day where it might be rainy, I would suggest against using markers, especially if you're using the washable variety, just because a little bit of moisture, it's going to get all over your hands where you're holding it. It could run down the front of your sign. Um, crayons are a great way to go. They're easy. They're pretty indestructible because they're wax, so they're not going to be affected by the water. So I think that's what I'm going to do. You know, I could add some embellishments, like some designs. I could add some outlining around my letters. It's really up to you.
Okay guys, here is our project today. You can see it really didn't take me too much time and it looks pretty fun. It's bright, it's colorful. You can read it really easily because of the high contrast between the scraps of paper and this brown cardboard background. We're recycling items. And again, this is something that you can display outside your home or maybe if you wanna go actually thank somebody, you can drive by their house and you know put this out there. So again, I hope you have a wonderful day. Use up all those odds and ends in your house and find someone who really needs some appreciation. We have so many people right now that are helping our country and our community through this COVID crisis and they really deserve a round of applause. And this is a really great way that you can do that while also maintaining social distancing and keeping yourself and your family healthy. Bye!